what was the original idea for ConvertKit? And is that kind of the ConvertKit that we know today? Yeah. So I had gone on this path from uh, quitting my job. I spent three years at a startup doing software design and then um, uh, quit my job to go freelance and had some iOS apps that were making some money and then then freelance design. And in that process, uh, I was following people uh, through Tim Ferriss. I'd come across a guy named Chris Gillibo. He'd written a lot about self-publishing and content creation, and I loved his stuff. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to self-publish a book on designing iOS apps. And there wasn't a lot of content about it. This is in 2012, so iOS had been out for a few years, um, but was still you know, still in the early days. Uh, and I just figured, you know, I don't have an audience or anything, but if I write the book on how to design iOS apps, then you're going to want to hire me to design your app. You know, it's, it's going to be, uh, good for getting a lot more business. I can charge more. And my goal was to make $10,000 off of, uh, the book in its whole lifetime. You know, I'm not giving it away for free. I want to sell it and I want it to be a business. Um, but I ended up launching it in September, 2012, uh, to an email list of 800 people uh, that I built on MailChimp. Uh, and I sold $12,000 worth of the book in the first day. <laughs> and so I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> By the end of the first week, it sold $19,000 and I was off to the races. And so I actually never took on another design client. Um, that whole path like <laughs> didn't materialize. There were plenty of options. I was just like, no, I'm all in on you know selling digital products and building an audience. I ended up writing another book. Uh, we can get into why if it's interesting, but I wrote a book on designing web applications. Um, that one made $50,000 in the first month. And I would go around, there's a friend. So I live in Boise and there's not like a huge startup scene in Boise, but there's a lot of like really talented online marketers who have been at it since the early days. So if you know companies like bodybuilding.com and ClickBank, um, and even more recently, like ClickFunnels and plenty of others that are like, they're all founded in Boise. And so, uh, there's just these people who like understand search since the early days or like the guy who built, um, uh, about.com who like scaled all of their search rankings. If you remember back in like 2004 to 2008, when they ranked for just absolutely everything. Okay. Like he's a friend who lives here in Boise. So okay. there's like this quiet, like OG <laughs> internet marketer community here. I'm talking to this one guy. Uh, a friend of mine named Ron, and he's like, hey, or, this is what I was saying. I was like, I'm selling this book. And I thought Twitter and Facebook and you know Instagram was new at the time. Like, this is where all the sales would come from. And they're all coming from email. And he just gives me this look. He's like, yeah, we've known that since 2000. Like, what do you want? Like a gold star? Like, <laughs> you know, you're going here and just saying, you know, I don't know if I like <laughs> came into the real estate community and started telling you like all the most obvious things yeah <laughs> you'd be like yes you're like congratulations alone to buy out. real estate <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> um and so anyway like that was a new fantastic discovery for me and i was like does everybody know this so i just started diving in of like okay what are all the best practices how do you grow your list the fastest what automations should you set up what incentives should you give away um all of these things. How should you have like guest posts to get traction back to your site? You know, all of this. And I did it all in MailChimp and just found that the process was pretty painful of like, I'd come up with some best practice or learn it and try to implement it. And I'd write all this custom code. And it's like, okay, this doesn't make sense. And so in this journey to go from content creation to, uh, um, I wanted to get back into building software then I decided that, okay, the next thing I'm going to build is a, you know, an email product, MailChimp, but for, for me, for content creators. And so that's how it started in uh, January, 2013. And did this happen before or after? So when I was doing some digging, you have a quote, you said, Jason Fried of Basecamp taught me that making money is a skill, just like playing an instrument or learning to create had that already happened? And I'm just really curious, like, what did he tell you? Like, how did he tell, what was his version of like how you make money? Do you remember? Yeah. So he talks about it. He actually has a couple of public talks. Um, I think about this where, um, he talks about in the early days of his career working at, I think a sporting goods store and, uh, like selling shoes and the skills that go into that and, and things that you, 
you learn. So I, it wasn't like he sat me down and taught me this individually, but he's, you know, and I have this list of like web design mentors and app design mentors. And Jason would be, you know, in that list of uh, business mentors who just consumed absolutely every piece of content uh, that Jason and all these other guys put out. Um, I'm not sure the timing of when I learned that, but I was super interested in making money. And I, uh, I always thought, so I, I grew up in a family where money was very, very scarce. And so, um, you know, I, I thought that money came down to luck or maybe career choice. Like I had an uncle who was a uh, doctor who made, you know, he was the wealthiest person that I, you know, had that I knew of. And thankfully, even him it was very good with money. Like I remember, you know, in 2005, he was driving a 20 year old Saturn or something like that. You yeah. know? So like, <laughs> not not like the the doctor who it's all loans and uh, all that. He was he was a fantastic uh, financial role model. When I started to learn following like the content creators like Tim Ferriss and Chris Gillibo, and then um, you know business operators like Jason Fried and others. And they're talking about like the set of skills that you can learn. And I was like, oh, okay, wait, sales is a skill. Copywriting is a skill. All of these things in the same way that accounting or, or these other things I started learning in school were. And I was like, wait, I'm just going to get really, really good at all of these skills. Um, and that's basically what it turned into before ConvertKit uh, or around the time I was starting ConvertKit. I got to the point where I was making 200 to 250,000 a year selling digital products, you know, to my audience. And it was just like, okay, I think I've, I've got this figured out. Now, how do we productize it um, and make it easier for other people? 